All right, so another problem for us to solve. I have two friends, Bob and Sally, out ice skating. The idea behind me making them going ice skating is we're, we're going to reduce friction a lot, but th that's another side story there. Um, Bob, 79 kilograms, decides to push. Uh, Sally, 69 kilograms. Uh, much to Bob's surprise, after pushing Sally, he actually moves backwards at 0.75 meters per second. How fast does Sally end up moving? So the first thing to do is to identify what type of problem this is. This is a momentum problem, nothing about displacement, just, just masses and velocities, and we're looking for a velocity. So this could be considered a collision here. Um, also, then, we need to identify what type of momentum problem is it. So we look at what's going on initially. Initially, they are together, right? And initially, uh, whenever he, Bob pushes Sally, they are one object, right? Um, and they are at rest. Uh, they, they stopped to talk. And then Bob pushes Sally, so the one object then splits up into two separate ones going opposite directions. That is a classic example of an explosion problem. So our explosion equation is negative m1vf equals m2vf. And the reason for all of that, it, the reason for that negative sign there, remember, is they're going to go opposite directions. Now, I need to choose which way is positive and which way is negative. And, and since the problem said uh, that Bob ended up moving backwards, backwards to me implies negative. So I'm going to call everything that goes left negative and everything that goes right positive. And that, that's critical. You can't have velocities going opposite ways and get the exact same sign mathematically, right? You have to get them opposite signs. I'm also going to call Bob person number one and Sally person number two over here. So let's actually just plug in and chug out and, and, and see what the answer comes out to be because really the only trick is choosing your positive and negative and not, not forgetting that. So negative, mass of Bob is 79. Uh, the final velocity, he ended up moving at, now here's the key, negative 0.75 because Bob, from my picture and the way I have it drawn, is moving back to the left. So negative 0.75 meters per second squared. Mass of Sally is, uh, let's see, 69 kilograms times her final velocity, which is what I want. So now it's just algebra. So I come out with a final answer of positive 0.86 meters per second. Note, because of the negative sign here, it cancels out that other negative sign, which then, in, in turn, gives me the correct sign that I'm expecting for my velocity, positive, because Sally's velocity, she's, she should be going to the right, positive. Whenever two things are together and they push off, they have to go opposite directions. Also, notice that since Sally has a smaller mass, logically speaking here, she should get a larger velocity from the explosion. Uh, that's just common sense there, I guess, with, with conservation of momentum. And Newton's third law, right, for every uh, force there's an equal and opposite force. So if Bob pushes on Sally, Sally is, in essence, pushing back on Bob with the exact same force. So that force being applied, you know, but that force being applied to a smaller mass, Sally, is going to make her move faster, whereas the exact same force being applied to a bigger mass, Bob, is going to make him move slightly slower. All right, let me take the exact same problem, but turn it around a little bit. This time, instead of the two uh, ice skaters, the two friends coming to a rest, they are both skating along at a constant velocity of two meters per second. So they're both going next to each other two meters per second, uh, right there next to each other. So in essence, they are still joined there. Um, then Bob pushes Sally. They were both going the same speed right there together. Um, whenever he does, Bob, Bob's speed slows from 2 meters per second down to 0.5 meters per second. What is the resulting velocity of Sally? Now, there are two different ways, I guess, you could think of this here. Um, you could either think of this as a reverse inelastic collision, right? They're together at first and then they split up as opposed to split up and then they stick together. Um, or an explosion, it just has an initial velocity. One way or another, just look at what's happening in the problem. Before, I have two masses that are together moving at a constant velocity. So I have some initial velocity times the two masses, m1 plus m2, right? They're, they're together moving at some velocity, uh, the same velocity together, two meters per second, equals, now afterwards, they split up, right? So I, I end up with vf m1 plus uh, Vf M2, and let, let's change that around to what you're used to seeing Mv there. It doesn't really matter, but M1 Vf plus M2 Vf, because now they're separate. All right, so now let's plug in our numbers here. 
So once again, I'm calling Bob person number one, so that's M1 and Sally M2, using the masses from the previous problem. And I'm calling to the right positive here and to the left negative again. And since everything's still moving to the right, notice that all of my velocities, positive velocity, positive velocity, and I'm expecting my final velocity of Sally to come out to be positive too. Once again, it's a good thing if you can solve this through with uh, just variables, knowing that you have VI, M1, M2, M1, VF of Bob, right, uh, and then M2, being able to solve through with variables and then plugging in numbers at the end. But for your comfort, whenever we get started, I'm actually using uh, I'm actually using plugging in your numbers here for everything. So now it's just math, plug and chug. So my final velocity for Sally comes out to be 3.7 meters per second there after Bob pushes her. So Bob ends up slowing down and Sally ends up speeding up quite a bit. Once again, less mass, right, for Sally, so she speeds up a little bit more than Bob is going to end up slowing down. Momentum is still conserved. This is actually a tool that ice skaters use quite a bit where one person will throw another, right, causing the, the person doing the throwing, so to speak, um, to slow down and propelling the person who's getting thrown a little bit uh, faster.